You know that guy who said he's visited by aliens all the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mean, what was his name? Riley? Yeah. He's re- he wants to talk. He wants to get on the air. Oh. He's on the phone. We must talk to him. Uh, he's angry at the E! show. Oh. Oh, did he appear on the E! show? Yeah. He doesn't like the way they handle his appearance. Uh. <laughs> have to handle this little complaint. This is the complaint. And, and then i got to also tell you about a guy who murdered some people, and he's using us as a defense. I'll tell you all about defense? that. Defense? Yeah. Do we is this, testify? Is this Riley? No. Is this Riley? This is Riley. This is Riley. Riley is... Uh, Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Riley. Good morning. Riley was on our show a couple of weeks ago, and he uh, was contacted by space aliens. Many, many, many times. Many times. M- too numerous to uh, count. The something orans. The Bajorans. <laughs> no, that's on Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, but or ironically, aren't they called the Bajorans, Riley? Be obvious. Well, check your. All you have to do is check your records on probably one of the highest rated shows you've had the <laughs> fortune of having, and then you'll know my name. No, uh, no, it's Bjorns, right? No. You are. Bjorns. Bjorns. and they all look like Bjorns. You and uh, you and your sidekick, Uh-oh. the one who likes to skin and grin and mojangle, oh. yes. use me for all it was worth, man, and refused to do my number. What are you talking about? TV. You did not do my telephone number. Oh, oh, yeah. If you don't know about this, then you're not running your stuff on No, I didn't know about it. As a matter of oh, fact... the telephone number wasn't... What was it, bleep? No, otherwise, I mean, it's not only your fault. It's the person who delivers your mail, the yard... Why man, wouldn't they give Riley's... Uh, ...and everybody else's fault at that vector that you live at, man. Why wouldn't they give Riley's 800 number on E? I don't know. Scott or Robin, you want to tell me why you guys bleeped that out? So Riley had an 800 number. Well, I'll let you give it on the radio many times. I'll say, hey, that's great. Uh, when I go on the radio, then give it on the radio. When I'm on TV, then at least uh, have the decency, man, to not do this indecency to anyone. Oh, here's Scott Einziger. He's the producer of the E-Show. What happened? We don't include any phone numbers in any E-Show, and Is I'll that right? explain why. Why? These shows aren't live as you do a live show. They repeat many times. They could repeat many times into the future, and it yes. actually protects E and you in case of invasion of privacy claims if the phone numbers change, and we don't have the ability to track phone numbers on a daily basis. Uh, do, you, do you have the ability to superimpose the number one time and don't do it again? I don't care. Do you have the ability or the technical ability to do such a thing? Did you not have the ability to uh, advertise pet rocks, transvestites, uh, uh, well, dump that's, trucks, and everything? Yeah, because that's he, Riley, do you understand something? That's advertising that changes on a regular basis. They're saying that once the show is made, the reason well, they don't put... No one, why didn't you tell me in because the first place? I didn't know that, but... not advertise. Well, we did it on the radio a bunch of times. So what are you, what are you, okay, what are you well, hocking us about? Well, well, okay, cool, cool, Howard. You give out your 800 number now. How's that? Yeah, do so, man. No, you do, you it. do it. I don't know your number. The number is article 609. Oh, that's not even an 800 number. Yeah. No, no, 609. So now you understand the E problem. The E problem is that... Are you still upset with us? Uh, since they run this show in perpetuity, <laughs> you can understand that... They uh, not give me my number. If they put the 609 number up there and you should move out of your vector, <laughs> that there would be a problem in perpetuity. You understand that, right? <laughs> oh. okay. number, man. You What's know, that, man? I mean, otherwise, uh, you want to do uh, something yeah. decent before you die, man. Yeah, something well, in life. I well, mean, what I'm talking about. I think. The number. Yeah. I think what I, way you ambush me. I think what uh, you're uh, proposing here, this ambushing. Wait a minute. What is, was the ambush? What was the ambush, my friend? I had you on the radio. I promoted your books and various uh, ideas and philosophy. We let you espouse. Right. I let you espouse many different. Uh, uh, perpetuity is. <laughs> and uh, I believe... Well, you, haven't, uh, what? you haven't gained any information yet, man. I mean, I'm not here to joust with you, however. No, I understand. You understand? I'm not here to joust Understood. with you. Understood. Uh, what all is I, the ambush? All I'm here to do you say is, we ambush you. We didn't really ambush you. How did we do that? You will give me the same opportunity that some... A misfortunate person gave you to uh, at least to get a forum, a public forum. Well, I gave you a public forum and a lot more than these other so-called shows. How many other shows have you done? Right. Hmm. By the way, I was visited check, by the... Pl- check with my publisher, man. I was visited by the planet Nudnik the other night. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Riley... So now Why we got are the, you always upset with us? Because uh, he's always looking, you know, he's, he's always looking... He's just upset in general. Yeah, he's just an upset guy. I saw you when you were down here. You get upset a lot. 
not necessarily. Please. Well, every time we see you, I talk to you. Please, don't uh, think of me like that. I was only a good friend to you, not an alien. Oh, that remains to be seen, Howard. Hmm. How? You know what I mean? Otherwise, you, uh, you guys have... Uh, I allowed you to put forth the Benuvian philosophy. You're, you're telling me that you do not advertise anybody's number. Well, uh, over, uh, no, over, over, over ETV. Uh, no, over ETV during the course of the shows, <laughs> in the body of the program. Body. Should anyone call? Yeah. Will you have? Uh, yes. One of the people who erased it to give the people the number. Then, <laughs> yes. If they want to get the book. If the people do call for the number, I will give it to them out of our central offices here, located in that vector. All right. I promise you, please, this vector will control all output of information. Hey, man. All right. Uh, Schindler's, Schindler's list don't mean anything to you, does it? Not it at all. Does. No, no, no. All you're saying is that I got my belly full, <laughs> and I, therefore I shall ridicule anything that even uh, smacks no. of a possible decency. No, no, no. You have me all wrong. I am a friend to you and the blue. I could, I could not expect any more. I could not expect any more. But Riley, uh, Riley, uh, let me say something. Uh, let me say girl. Let me say something. Let me say something. Let me sit here and have a good time. Let me say it's something. It's an entertainment program. Let me say something. May I? May I please have the intercourse Just for a I minute? Just because I rejected you, Riley, there's no reason to scream at me. Riley, may I please take over the discourse for a minute and have some intercourse with you? Ooh. If I may. Go ahead. Verbal intercourse, of course. <laughs> uh, let me say that let's clear up this problem now. You are a man who wrote a book. I invited you on the program. You gave your intercourse, if you will, in this vector, and people responded in turn. You gave out your phone number, and people responded in turn. And what I am saying to you is, while the East show cannot run 800 numbers because they run programs in perpetuity. I am saying that I will certainly give out your digits uh, whenever someone calls here looking for your tome. Okay. Okay? Okay. So you're not angry? Uh, why should why should you worry about me being angry, man? I have no uh, power. You well, have no like you. Well, you have a power base. If you will. And you have the beyond. Yeah, right, you, uh, you I don't, don't either of you worry about what you do to me or any other. Well, what them. if you were to contact the Beuvians and uh, set them on me? I would be upset. The tangential nature of our relationship confuses yes, my hey, interplay Howard. with your presence. Hey, Howard. Yes. yes. Uh, Howard, you're doing beautifully. Look. Thank you. Just, uh. Yeah. Just, uh. Yeah. Can I give the number again? Yes, please. Uh, area code 609. Nine. And Howard would give you the number if you call in and uh, yes. don't write this down. And, uh, mm. hey, man, I appreciate it. And, uh, how uh, are the Beuvians? Uh, hey, I should come back. You should. We, we, love to yeah. we will schedule. Yeah. If you want to do what's right, may I further? I will do what's and right. Talk and again. May I? May I bring you in here for further discourse <laughs> in the future? You may. Oh, thank you. You don't mind speaking with a token? Uh, if you don't mind speaking with the token known as Robin. I don't. I wouldn't mind speaking with a pet rock if in the incident it could come up with one fairly decent question. Exactly. <laughs> well, we will work on a series of questions well, for our next intercourse. Give us the question. And if you would uh, give us some guidance in this area, perhaps we will do a better job. I'm glad they do so, Howard. Uh, and doesn't he realize that he is so far advanced uh, beyond us having been uh, an intergalactic traveler? Surely you, you can't jest. expect us to understand Do not, necessarily you know what, what I feel, going on with him. I feel you are being condescending oh, toward Ryan, no. and you are just saying things like that, but when in fact he is superior because he I has met with the being have you been contacted by aliens since I we left? I am not the one who left your number off. Right. <laughs> How are who is superior? Have you contacted? Have you been contacted by aliens since we last saw you? Just give him my number, Howard. You won't even answer any questions. Won't you answer that question? Can I, can I not say it that if the, if the, if the reader does not uh, yes. uh, find the information I give them to be worth their money, that I will gladly uh, give them their money back. Well, let me ask you this. On national radio or whatever. Let me ask you so, this. Yeah, give them an opportunity to uh, decide for themselves. Yes. We don't have much time here, man. Right, man. Hey, listen, let me ask when you. When is the end of the world? Uh, very soon. As soon as... Uh, I mean, you don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm a disciple of Riley. As you can see, I've even adapted his form of speech. <laughs> Uh, when have is you, the end of the world? Uh, when is the end of the world? Uh, have you been contacted by the Beuvians <laughs> recently? Answer any 
for, uh, for about 35,000 kids every 24 hours, it's the end of the world right now. Can I make so a suggestion? it just depends upon who you are and how much money you got and how uh, can I make you a suggestion? Your life. Can I make a suggestion in the marketing of your book? Why don't you ask the Beuvians to spray paint your phone number on the side of their rocket ship? <laughs> Now, who's going to see that? Everybody. <laughs> what if they land? And then Riley's book would sell through the roof. Well, there you go. <laughs> what is it, Gary? I mean, this is probably redundant, but Riley's definitely a little weird because oh. yesterday he called here. Don't say that. Just because he has a message that no, is different from you. No, he did something strange yesterday. He, he kept calling and complaining that yes. his number wasn't on. Yeah. yeah. Then he called here pretending he wasn't Riley. Yeah. But his voice is, you know, really obvious. Riley, yeah. And he wanted to know if we could give him the phone number for Riley's oh, book. Oh, he was checking. He was checking on it. <laughs> Hello, this is not Riley, but I would like the number for his book. Not me. <laughs> this is not me. Uh, Riley, were you up to some trickery? Ask, ask, him, ask him, does he have a... Uh, a recording of that. Oh, <laughs> uh, would you not record your messengers or is yeah. he nothing but a party to any type of uh, Subterfuge. indecency? Yes. <laughs> and that's all he is in, in the eyesight of uh, perhaps the world. Did you celebrate the holiday yesterday of Yom Kippur? Uh, I the celebrate Jewish... life in all uh, yeah. persuasions. Man. All right. Thank you, Riley, and good luck. And I'll speak with you in the near future. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Love that guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Love that guy. He's so funny. And I don't know if he means to be. Nate? <laughs> yes. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hello. Hey, get rid of this guy, man. I just did. I'm tired of hearing him. We're talking to you now. <laughs> we're talking, we were talking to Riley about oh. the Bejuvians. <laughs> Whatever they are. Whatever they are. <laughs> the Bejuvians. <laughs> now they become Jews. <laughs> yes. And, and Yom Kippur. All right. You don't dig that guy? I dig that guy. That guy's twisted, man. Yeah, but that's what's funny about him. He mad twisted. <laughs> okay. That ain't worth the effort. All right. Thank, what, are you a black guy? Yeah. So you don't like it because he's a black guy? No, I don't like because he's dumb. He ain't making no sense. <laughs> well, that's why we like him. All right. Thank you, Nate. Hey, later, man. Bye-bye. I might start talking like that full time. <laughs> yeah, it kind of works. It's you start to think that you're saying something important. Yeah. Hey, do you not see my discourse? <laughs> Are you devoid of all decency? <laughs> <laughs> or indecency? <laughs> uh, what? Ever? <laughs> I love that. I love that manner of speech. Hello, this is the uh, Alien Beuvian Show. <laughs> my name is Riley. How are you? I'm doing fine. Yes. What can I do for you? Uh, well, first of all, I just want to say that uh, it's scary to think that you're in my area code. Yes. And uh, I saw the E show, and I think you're totally wrong about uh, what Howard did. Did you not? Ah. Did you not think the Beuvians exist? Yeah. Uh, it's not a question of whether they exist or not. The thing is, uh, sure, Howard I'll have you know that I was on a rocket ship to Beuvia. Really? Yes, I was. And whether you sir, believe my discourse or not, I would ha I would not care to have an intercourse with you at this time. This man has made love to <laughs> hybrids. Yes. Really. I have He's had hybrid himself. many beautiful women, but I will say this: Earth women are the best. <laughs> oh, they, I, I, they, yeah, they are. But uh... so, please, uh, do not bore me with your subterfuge. Yeah. <laughs> subterfuge. I see that's the thing too. I mean, how you can't even talk. I could just write a book. Well, I've written on a higher level plane ah. than you obviously can comprehend. Ah, so I want to see the inter uh, your uh, interstellar. And you, sir, planet. who are a simpleton, uh, would love to read my chapter on Earth. Vagina versus Nubian vagina. <laughs> really? What's yes. The difference? Uh, one is better than the other. Yeah. Which cookie is better than the other one? The cookie that is better is Earth Vag. Earth Vag? Thank you for this intercourse. The intercourse? Well, yeah. uh, Riley, I just wanted to tell you, man, I don't know. All right. my area code to stay away from it. I'll be coming to your house with the Benuvians. I bet you will, man. Yes, Captain, fire up the ship. <laughs> okay. <I'll laughs> <you>. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. Hmm. That guy's nuttier than Riley. I think he thought I was Riley. <laughs> he really was addressing you as if you were Riley. I want to do the Riley show. Yes. We have to do a little Riley show every day. The Beuvians. Yeah. Let me ask you this. <laughs> How's the guy get to talk like that? I love that. I, don't I love know. that guy. I love Riley. Buy his book. Make him happy. Have you bought the book? Me? Yeah. Personally? Yeah. No, I have not, but I will.